Getting suited up with the Indiana Hoosiers here. Big Ten Media Days rolling along. The shortest commute for any team here to Lucas Oil Stadium. Mike Kadick, the six-year offensive lineman, looking sharp even though his suit didn't show up. <laughs> Making do. <laughs> Justice Ellison, Aiden Fisher, two of the many new faces in Bloomington. Gentlemen, welcome to Lucas Oil Stadium. Welcome to Big Ten Media Days. How's everybody feeling? Thank great, you, great. Thank you for great. having us. You're looking sharp. You, you told me that your suit got lost in the mix, but you, you, you found something Thank that works. Thank you very works. much. Thank yeah. you. And I'm going to start with you because you have the, the best mustache that I've seen so Thank far you. in three days. Man. And I just Feels found good. out, I, I'm sorry to lead with this. I was going to save it for the end, but you were a ballet dancer yeah. as a child. Yeah. And gymnastics and figure yeah. skating. Yep. Yeah. We're starting um, off with this. I'm. We are leading with right, this because this is by far <laughs> hey. my favorite storyline that I've that yeah. I have come to find <laughs> well, out. I appreciate so, that. Yeah. So tell me, tell me about your journey and how you <clears throat> fell in love with football. Well, this is how uh, I started playing football. Um, as a as embarrassing as it is, I was a ballerina, did gymnastics and figure skated, and then my dad was like, you know what? I've about had it with this. <laughs> I'm going to sign you up for football, and uh, the rest is history. The rest is history. Well, thank you, Pops, because yeah. I know a lot of Indiana fans are glad that you made that transition. <laughs> it takes a confident man to sit up on live definitely television does. and say yeah, that. Yeah, you know what? It is what it is. That's it is what it is. is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why not? Why not? Um, all right, Aiden, let's, let's go to you, because you were one of the many players that came over from James Madison with Kurt Signetti. I think a lot of people are excited about the energy and the enthusiasm and the bravado, I think is the word I would use, that he brings. Tell us why you came, what the expectation is around this program with him leading the way. Uh, I would just say the biggest thing was, um, you know, playing at James Madison with Coach Signetti, uh, along with Coach Haynes. Um, you know, I, I was able to find a lot of success with them. Um, you know, growing up over two years with them, uh, they put a lot of belief in me to kind of go out and do what I do at a, at a very high level. Um, and I think that's just kind of what they bring to Bloomington as well. Um, a lot of these players are really going to find a lot of success uh, under their schemes and, you know, their regiment here. And um, I just say uh, there's going to be a lot of excitement coming to uh, Indiana here pretty soon. What makes him unique? Because I think we've gotten a, a flavor of, of his personality. But what, what makes him unique to play for? Um, I would just say his approach to the game. Um, you know, he, he's a very fierce competitor. Um, a lot of people have seen that already. Um, you know, as you watch his interviews, um, you see the way he coaches on the sideline. Uh, it's, it's always business. Um, you know, business comes first. You keep the main thing the main thing. Um, and he finds success no matter where he's at. So I think that's just his biggest thing. You can Google him and, and you'll find exactly. that, he, that exactly. he's found success wherever he's at. Justice, you were the, his first transfer portal commit. Yes, I was. And, and you come from Wake Forest, and it, it didn't seem to take you long to know that, that Indiana was the right spot. So tell me about you know your commitment and, and why you found your way to Bloomington. I mean, when I hit the portal, it was about me going somewhere and finding business. Um, when I met Coach Signetti on my first visit, I was like, I don't need to go nowhere else. You know, um, I took my only visit there on Sunday, and I committed on the spot because um, I seen in his eyes what he wanted to do. Um, I knew that his, his mindset was like, I don't need nobody to believe in me. Um, I truly believe in myself. And that touched my heart because, you know, there was not many people who committed. It was just me. Yeah. So I had to be bold, I had to be brave, and I had to take a, take a chance and have faith. And how has it been? How has the transition been for you? It's been wonderful. Uh, he's exactly who he says he is. Um, he's breeded that same thing toward the, all of us on the team. And the guys are just excited to go pull out there and play and really showcase what we have pretty much have said already. And you've known Mike Shanahan for, for a while. Did he try to recruit you? Yeah, he did. Uh, my high school, so he came to my high school my junior year, offered me as a receiver. Uh, so, you know, when I hit the portal, I was like, man, I get to come back and, and play for him again. So. Full circle. Full, Full circle. circle. Full I circle. love that. All right. Well, Mike, back to you because I, I don't have any more gymnastics or ballet questions yeah, for you. Good. We can talk football. <laughs> Six year and the decision to come back. Yeah. Walk me through how you made it and ultimately what led to you deciding that you needed another year. Yeah. So, I mean, after last season, I declared for the draft. Um, this was something that I thought about before last season. I knew I wanted to do it. Um, and then so I left. I parted ways with Indiana. Uh, Coach Signetti got hired, and uh, I was at home, you know, looking for agents, talking to different agents, and Coach Bostad called me on a, you know, typical Wednesday morning, and he said, hey, uh, any chance, you know, I'm just kicking this around, but would you want to come back and play center possibly? And I was like, um, you know, maybe. Uh, let me talk to my parents and, right. and uh, get Coach Sig on the phone. I'd like to talk to him. And Sig FaceTimed me and we just, he pitched me, his, you know, what he does, he wins. And, uh, you know, I said, 
I have an opportunity to play center. I have another opportunity uh, to learn under Coach Bostad for another year, mm -hmm. and um, and I want to win. I had a bad taste in my mouth from last three seasons, so I was like, I want to leave this place, you know, on a good note, and I want to leave it better than I found it. And then uh, I talked to my family, my mom and my dad, and they and it was a pretty easy decision for me. They they always wanted me to go back. They they really? love they love Indiana. They love wow. you know packing up the RV and heading up. It's my dad's favorite thing, and uh, so yeah, it was an easy decision for me, and uh, I'm so glad I made that decision. I know a lot of Hoosier fans are glad that you made mm -hmm. that decision. Your dad said you can do whatever you want as long as you're not going to go back to ballet. Yeah, probably exactly. Yep. Yeah, and and you mentioned Bostad, who's the only holdover from the previous <coughs> coaching Correct. staff. You nat left guard is your natural position, but you Correct. mentioned you're going to be playing center. So yep. talk to me about the the switch because there's there's some yeah. nuance that people probably don't understand. Oh yeah, there, I mean there's a big difference um, being so comfortable at left guard kind of gave me an opportunity to, you know, up my knowledge of the position and the offense line in general and learn about defenses and coverages and things like that. And that helped my transition to center a lot because as a center, I mean, you got to identify the mic, the Sam, the will. You got to read coverages, read um, fronts and and all that kind of stuff. So this the transition has been smooth. Uh, I played center for four games in 2021, I believe. So I'm familiar with the position itself. Uh, it's just different things that Coach Bostad teaches, and uh, it's just, you know, adjusting to that and, you know, just getting better with it. Well, I mean, that, that versatility is impressive, but I, I don't know if you know all the positions that these two guys played in high school. I, can you list them all? Because I'm looking at your quarterback. bios. Quarterback. <laughs> quarterback? Uh, yeah, quarterback, running back, Jeez. fullback. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you uh, return kicks. You yeah, I return you, kicks. You did it all. And, and I, I see, you played a lot of yeah. positions as well. I do. I can't say I have a kick return touchdown in my career. Okay. <laughs> can't say that as a linebacker. <laughs> well, that's know, impressive. It's pretty big. That is pretty big. And you guys are both from the great state of Virginia. We, we are. are. Yeah. We are. Did you guys know each other in, in high school? Did you oh, we, no, we didn't. No? We didn't. Okay. Full all circle, right. though. But there's some Virginia yeah. love, I can imagine. Always. Definitely is. Yeah. Virginia is definitely for lovers, for sure. Tell me about your style, because I think, and maybe I should ask your alignment there at the end, too, but what do you bring? to the table and kind of what do you think about when um, in the way that you play the game? I would say my mentality is something that has been showcased my whole career at Wake Forest. Um, you can see that when I play. Um, I have a great grind, focus. Uh, I'm very determined when I get the ball. And I might not be able to pop every single run, but my mind has always been on, you know, if I can extend this run as far as I can and be able to set our team up to score, that's the ultimate goal I want to have. Um, I would say I'm a guy that is going to make guys miss on the back end. Um, someone that's going to be able to go out on the pass game and catch the ball and to be able to be explosive um, as well. So, um, and most importantly, the one I take pride in personally is um, blocking, you know, A-gap defenders in the A-gap, you know, because I know that us in the old lineman, we got to be able to do it, it you know, for the, for the receivers to get open. So, yeah. you know, I know that's, that's something that I, I – I desperately chair in my, deep in my heart. So Yeah, I, well, any coach that I've ever talked to in the game yeah. of football says if it, that is one of the most important roles for a running back, somebody who's willing to get in there and block. Bring so much value. Yeah, absolutely. And and your old linemen appreciate it, which is very <laughs> yeah, important. definitely. Aiden, like. everyone has a unique journey to, to where they get mm -hmm. to where they go, and your, your path in particular, has you've overcome a lot. You've had a mm -hmm. lot of tragic loss, and, and we, you shared some of that with me, and I'd just be curious if you'd be willing to – Share some of the stuff that you've overcome and kind of how that's formed you to, to be in where you're sitting right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, growing up, uh, most of the time it's me, my mom, my two sisters. Uh, the reason I wear number four now, um, you know, I lost my father at a young age. Um, had a great man uh, that came in as my stepfather for a couple of years who was diagnosed with um, brain cancer. Uh, we lost him as well. But, um, you know, I'm not looking for a pity story uh, no matter where I go. Um, I think the biggest thing is just, you know, you're, you're putting people's lives for a reason, in my opinion. Um, not only me, but those men in my life. Um, they taught me some things that I've, I've never thought that I'd be able to learn from people. And um, I think when you speak to my why, it's, uh, it's those men that were in my life, as, long as, or as well as those girls at home, um, that kind of look up to me. And, you know, we share the same story, we share the same path. Um, and I just think that's so important to me. And, you know, being able to share that and uh, have other people just know, like, there's always hope in something. You know, you lose a lot of people along the way. Um, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, when you look at, you know, you could, you could feel sorry for yourself, but there's always a positive in something. And, you know, as long as you just you keep going and you can get anywhere you want to be in life.
I appreciate that so much, and I think that the ability and willingness for you to share that is important because I think people look at you guys and, and it feels like, oh, their lives are, are perfect and they've right. got everything. And so to be able to get real and talk about that, and I can't imagine um, the strength that your mom has. Oh, yeah. I mean, there, there's no one that will ever match her in, in, in my books, and, you know, she's, she's my why and why I keep going. Well, thank you for sharing that. I, I appreciate yeah. that so much. And when I look at your guys' schedule, I mean, there's it's, it's a new world in the Big Ten. There's going to be new teams. You guys, I know, are going to say that you're focused on FIU, which is your first game, because that's what everybody has been giving me. We're focused on game number one. But <coughs> when you're looking at the schedule and you're thinking about what is possible for you guys this season as we take a look, you get to go to the Rose Bowl. Yeah. Mm. September 14th to play UCLA. That, that's going to be terrific. You've got Washington coming to town on October 26th. You're going to have some new, fresh blood. Mm, what yeah. is it? What excites you the most when, when you're looking at this? Um, I think, personally, I'm really excited to get out west um, and welcome in these new teams and uh, just really see what you know Pac-12 football was about you know, of years ago and just welcome them into the Big Ten. And then, um, you know, we had eight home games, which is awesome. So, you know, the IU fans are going to be packing the Rock, Memorial Stadium, every game. And uh, just really excited. We got two bye weeks, which helps us a lot, our bodies. And, uh, sure. yeah, I'm just really excited. Um, and then we got the big one at the end, Purdue. So yeah, that is the big one. I mean, I, now I'm understanding, now that I'm remembering that you guys have eight home games, that's why your dad wanted you to come back. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly, so you can take the RV. The RV eight times. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. he got a new one, too, and he's, Ooh. he's loving it. Yeah. Right, maybe we'll have to do a show, like a pregame yeah, show. Yeah, there you go, tagging. at the RV. All yeah. right, and he can show us some of the footage. Do it in the RV. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think he's I'm really seeing do this that. come together. I'll no, talk to our My mom will already have it pulled up. I love it. What is going to be the thing that allows you guys to take the next step this year? I would probably say the main thing is um, having the veterans step up mm -hmm. and to articulate that it's always important to keep your mind focused on the present. Um, there's a lot of guys in our room, um, in the running back room, who know what it takes uh, to be successful. But there's also a lot of guys on the team that know what it takes to, to be able to achieve a lot. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of guys coming from, what, Texas Tech. You know, you got, what, Kent State, a JMU. You got a lot of guys from all over that, have had a lot of success in their career. So, you know, just making sure that when we play a game and we win, like we say we're going to win, and Coach Signetti has communicated that we're going to do, <laughs> that we just hone in on let's focus on the next game and not worry about the things that lay behind. How do you guys feel when he, he's putting out what, what he's putting out, that Ohio love State it. Oh, sucks, I love it. Sucks. I love it. We love it. We got to yeah. back it up, it's though. Infectious it's infectious, though. though. It's contagious. It Definitely got back the it up. energy is important, and I oh, think a no lot doubt. of times teams take on the personality of their head coach. And I Definitely. think if you take on Kurt Signetti's personality, it's going to be a fun year in Bloomington. Yeah. For sure. Definitely. For sure. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much. I, my favorite fun fact that I learned other than that you play ballet is that <laughs> you play trumpet and you play saxophone. Yep, vice versa. Vice I play versa, trumpet. you play trumpet and there you play go. saxophone. Yep. But I, I feel like you guys could play any position it's of football. You bunch. could play yeah. any, it's any it's instrument. Talented, talented bunch here. Group. Next year we'll bring up those instruments and have you prove it. Ah, you guys, are, you guys are like renaissance men. Yeah, we're <laughs> awesome. You we're just awesome. You're, the, the Hoosiers, my new, my new yeah, favorite team come on. right here.